Hold up, Toothless. Whoa, 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 hold up, Toothless. Okay, Toothless, okay, yes, I know, I know. Shh, 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 shh. okay, okay, I know, I know. Okay, pl please, this is not helping. Please. Astrid, I had him right where I wanted him. Astrid, I had him right where I wanted him. Astrid, I had him right where I wanted him. Well, really? Do you, do you think you and I should? Uh... No, that's that's crazy. No, no, that's that's crazy. No, that's that's crazy. Dad used to talk about an old mariner's myth of a secret land at the edge of the world where dragons live totally out of reach. But what if it's real? It could be the answer to all of our problems. True. But what if it's real? It could be the answer to all of our problems. Oh, we could just take Gobber's advice and tie the knot. That should fix everything. Grimmel is just a sign of the times. Our enemies are getting smarter, more determined. We're not just overcrowded, we're exposed and vulnerable. And now he's right where I wanted him. Enough jabbering, let's get to work. I love that one, that's great. Okay, next one. Okay. Well, we could train a lot harder for one. That was pretty sloppy. Great, fantastic, okay. Bud, what has gotten into you? What's with all this slobbering and panting? Isn't it obvious? He's in love. Fantastic. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, one more. You know what? Just trace your toothless card and make her white. Can you believe it? Toothless has a girlfriend. Oh, it was um, indescribable. And please, call me Valka. It has been a year. Astra does have a point. I mean, perhaps you all rely a little bit too much on your dragons and not enough on one another. Nonsense! What harm could he do? Hmm. No injuries. They're all a little shaken, but otherwise they're healthy. <laughs> There's nothing more stubborn than a mob of tired, hungry Vikings. <laughs> well, there's nothing more stubborn than a mob of tired, hungry Vikings. I fear it can't last Hiccup. He thinks he has to lead alone because his father had to. He doesn't realize the strength that you have together. Do you still believe in him? Then help him realize the truth. Yeah, I wouldn't advise taking Toothless anywhere, Chief. I know this handiwork. Grimmel the Grizzly. Famous, back from where I'm from. Smartest dragon hunter I ever met. Well, next to me, of course. Don't underestimate him, Hiccup. Mark my words, he'll be back. What? Hey, is there a problem here? I agree with Hiccup. We haven't seen the last of Grimmel. He's a predator, single-minded and patient. He won't stop until he gets what he wants. Guess we won't be needing this then, eh? Guess we won't be needing this then, huh? I guess we won't be needing this then, huh? <clears throat> Gobber, relax. We did it. The world's first dragon Viking utopia. We made the dream a reality. Your dream, maybe. Mine's less crowded and more... Ah! Sanitary. <laughs> Great. Ah! You brought back a hobgobbler! They're a bad omen! We're a ghost! Yeah. Time to stop worrying about problems out there and start sorting out the ones right here! Yeah. Squeezing you! Squeezing you! Your tiny wee Viking heads! 
It's my job as chief to protect us, Hickam. And one day, when you're all growing up, that job will be passed on to you. But those sailors who turned back told tales of a great waterfall and dragons guarding the entrance to a hidden world. Especially Night Furies. Oh, you're scary. Oh, don't you worry. One day I'll find the hidden world and seal it up so that people and dragons will fight no more. That's great. Potty break! With a little more excitement. Potty break! Great. Perfect. Nice. Nailed it. Uh, How about uh, for crafting? Yeah. So just a big woohoo and uh, calling cool. out and celebration. Totally. Yeah! Woo! Oh, I'm so proud of you! Ah! That was three seconds on the nose, man. <laughs> Guys, is this flying or is this falling? We're coming, Uncle Crimsy! We're coming, Uncle Gorgie! Sweet. No further along with your dragon army, I see. I can thank the young chief of Burke for that. Uh, Stoics, boy. Hiccup. Bless you. Hey there, here's today's daily fact. The snow in The Wizard of Oz is asbestos. Mm. In that famous poppy field scene in The Wizard of Oz, the snow coming down is calming to Dorothy and her posse, but they should have probably been far less relaxed as these were actually asbestos-based fake snowflakes, a popular Christmas decoration throughout the United States and Europe at the time. Mm. Now click here below to subscribe for more great content.